Overwatch was looking for a hotshot pilot to test their next generation teleporting fighter, the Slipstream. Enter Lena Ostrom. Call sign Tracer. <laughs> That's me. It was the sort of opportunity I dreamed of my whole life. But on my first flight, the teleportation matrix malfunctioned and I disappeared. I was missing for months and no one knew where or when I had gone. By the time Overwatch found me, I was little more than a ghost. The doctors call my condition chronal disassociation. I faded in and out of existence, disappearing for hours and days at a time. And even when I was there, I couldn't touch anything. But my friend Winston would not give up. He kept at it day and night until he invented the chronal harness that keeps me anchored to the present. I was myself again. Even better, it turned my condition into something great. I have control over my own time, and I could speed it up and slow it down at will. My career as a pilot was over, but my life as an Overwatch agent had begun. Sounds like someone needs me. But don't worry, we'll have plenty of time for stories later. <laughs> Cheers! My name is Jack Morrison. People used to call me a hero. I led Overwatch for 20 years. We ended the Omnic Crisis and paved the way to a better future. Those were the good old days. They didn't last. Bad guys popped up all over the world. Lots of folks said we failed to keep the world safe. Protests broke out. They said that we were the problem. And people called from my head. They almost got their wish. It was a conspiracy. Overwatch got hit from inside and out. Our enemies blew up our headquarters. And me with it. They thought I died. Part of me did. But the war goes on. Now... I move in secret, striking from the shadows, hunting all those that brought Overwatch down. Call me a vigilante if you want. Truth is, I'm just a soldier. Tonight, on A Moment in Crown. Their spree of mayhem and chaos has caused untold millions in property damage around the world. But who are these two deranged junkers? And what inspired their orgy of destruction? Is this the work of master criminals or just a couple of idiots? It was Junkrat who masterminded this string of attacks that has stretched from the Australian outback to King's Row and beyond. Now this explosives-obsessed freak has his sights set on even greater acts of destruction. His co-conspirator, Roadhog, is a remorseless killer who hides his face behind a mask. This giant of a man is more than happy to use violence to resolve any situation. Together they have burned, bombed, robbed, and killed their way across the world. And their calamitous crime spree shows no sign of slowing down. Following their personal creed of no job too big, no score too small, it seems as though there is no end in sight to this senseless rampage. Unless we get your help. If you have any information as to the whereabouts of these two extremely dangerous criminals, you need to contact us right away. Remember, crime doesn't pay, but we do. My dearest Fariha, every mother hopes for a better life for her daughter. I was willing to fight and die for it. I taught you that there is nothing more important than protecting the ones you love. You grew up surrounded by heroes. They filled your head with stories of adventure and dreams of glory. And one day, you wanted to join them. 
but it was not the life I wanted for you. I never told you of the weight I carry from all those I killed to keep everyone safe. But I always did what was asked of me. Until one day, I could not take the life I needed to. I hesitated, and everything changed. The people who I was supposed to protect died, and I was left behind, gravely wounded. The world believed that I was dead. I thought perhaps that was for the best. I've lost so much in my life. I've said goodbye to so many friends. I've buried the ones closest to me. But for all that I have lost, I know that there are still people who need to be protected. So I cannot stop fighting. Not yet. Not while there are people still waiting for me. One day, I hope you'll understand. Your mother, Anna. Who is Sombra? To the system, she's nobody. She doesn't exist. No one remembers the girl. There were a thousand children like her after the war, but none of them could hack like she could. And she learned that people were just as easily manipulated. Now she understood how the world worked. Information is power. So she kept hacking. Politicians, corporations, governments. It was an addiction. But for the first time, someone noticed her. When your hardware's obsolete, it's time to upgrade. The girl was gone, and Sombra was born. Now, I'm ready. I'll find out who really runs the world. I'll find their weaknesses and how to exploit them. And when I do, I'll be the one pulling the strings. Who is Sombra? You'll never know. Adios. The world is a scary place. Even here, in Numbani. We needed something to protect us. Enter the OR-15 defense bots. They took the old Adina model from the crisis and gave them a complete makeover. They kept us safe for a while. I was at the airport when Doomfist attacked. Poor bots didn't stand a chance. Everyone else gave up on you, but I saw what you could be. So I rebuilt you, upgraded your programming, and gave you a heart. New personality module installed. System rebooting. OR15 online. <laughs> no, that's no good. Every great hero needs a real name. What about... Orisa? I made you to be strong and brave. You still have a lot to learn. <laughs> and you'll probably mess up sometimes. But I know you'll become the hero we need. My name is Orisa. I will keep you safe. That is my primary function. 20 years after we won the war against the Omnics, we were no closer to living together in peace. The building of a new home for the Omnics in London was supposed to be the first step in improving human-robot relations. But it never had a chance. The Omnic Extremist Group, Null Sector, launched a surprise attack on King's Row. 
Hundreds were killed, and thousands more were displaced as they took control. Now, they are hunting down the last of the survivors. It could be the beginning of a new war between humans and Omnics. Unless we can stop them! Commander Morrison has sent our strike team to liberate the city. It's my first mission, and the only way to save my home. I hope we're not too late. Humanity has always been tested. Conflict and war is the crucible through which we evolve. Those who fall will be forgotten. Those who rise up, their names will be remembered forever. We stand on the brink of a breakthrough in human evolution. I have dedicated my life to unraveling its secrets. I take risks that others would consider to be unwise, for I do not share their caution. Overwatch held back the pace of scientific discovery for decades. They believed my methods were too radical, too controversial, and they tried to silence me. But there were others in the shadows, searching for ways to circumvent their rules. Freed from my shackles, the pace of our research hastened. Together, we delved deeper into those areas forbidden by law, by morality, and by fear. New patrons emerged who possessed an appetite for my discoveries. And with this knowledge, what new world could we build? In stories, the heroes get the honor and glory. But their gleaming armor, their mighty weapons... The people who built them were heroes in their own right. And I thought I was going to follow in their footsteps. But a hammer and tools can't fix every problem. There are some things that can never be repaired. It's not enough to wait until the battle is over to fix their armor and bandage their wounds. If you can fight at their side, you can try to keep the blows from falling. <laughs> and maybe even protect them from themselves. I'm Brigitte Lindholm, and I will be their shield. Journal Entry 1963-4, Harold Winston. Status update on Specimen 8. By now, we're all used to our super-intelligent gorillas on the colony. But the hamster... <laughs> We've named him Hammond. 
continues to be one of our biggest surprises. Even though he's grown from the genetic modification, we have more trouble keeping track of him than any of the other animals. Somehow, he managed to get out of his cage again. It took us days to find him. I can't help but wonder what it is he's looking for when he gets out there. He's shown impressive problem-solving skills and adaptability to new situations. And he's overcome all the challenges that have been placed in front of him. I, for one, can't wait to see what trouble the little guy gets up to next. Everybody needs a family. Because it's not fair facing the world alone. I don't care how tough you think you are. They should always be there for support. No matter what. In the best of times, they will arm you with the tools to succeed. And in the worst of times, they will understand when things don't really go the way you planned. Now, some people are lucky enough to be born into the perfect family. Others, <laughs> well, they go out and make one on their own. And once you've done that, Anything is possible if everyone pulls their own weight. So, if you want to be part of my family, I do have one little rule. It's my way. Or, well, who am I kidding? It's my way. Choices? What do you know about choices? 30 million orphaned children. I was one of them. The Omnic War robbed us of our choices. To survive, you did what you had to do. Steal or starve, kill or be killed. You helped your friends and hurt anyone who got in your way. If you hunger to rise above your circumstances, then when someone offered you a hand up, even the devil, you took it. It wasn't complicated. At least that was the lie I told myself. The truth is, I had choices, and I made them. But when you think you're a big man, it's hard to admit that you are not a brave one even harder when you understand that making a living is not enough. You must make a difference. I am going to fight for a better world. For some, that means a bandage. For others, a bullet. Today, <laughs> I give you the choice. Gravity is a harness. My entire career has been devoted to this idea, to this moment. <laughs> Decades. If the unifying theories are correct, we will soon be able to harness the power of a black hole. Nothing will ever be the same. Why? This is wrong. I feel this failing. Ah! Oh, what happened? Where am I? Why am I being imprisoned? He released me! What is that melody? Hold it together. 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 Density, mass, momentum. It is too... It's too much to hold on to. 
I will bring you a new understanding of the violence. Freedom. Imprisonment. It's all an illusion. Gravity is a harness. I have harnessed the harness. It's <laughs> in Did I make the world a better place? Today, we welcome Dr. Liao to Omnica Corporation. They had every reason to doubt me. You should join us. But I helped create the Omnix. And who better to help us fight them? And only Overwatch believed. You are my life's work. You will be everything I dreamed. All I wanted, all I needed, was to help the world. And so, she created me. Her legacy. Her promise. Her echo. This meeting of the International Justice Commission is now called to order. Please, state your name and call sign for the record. Acting Commander Vivian Chase. Call sign Sojourn. How did you come to join Overwatch? My unit of the Canadian Special Forces teamed up with Overwatch during the Omni Crisis. Jack Morrison and I worked well together. And after the war, he reached out. Can you give us some examples of duties you performed? Whatever was needed. Sometimes I ran point for our agents in the field. Other times I commanded the operation. No matter what their mission was, mine was to bring every last one of them home. It sounds like you hoped for the impossible. I know. But they gave me the impossible every single day. It was the honor of a lifetime to have served with Overwatch. But you can love a thing with your whole heart and still know it's time to say goodbye. Even the best journeys end. But a new one is right around the corner. And you never know where that road is gonna take you. Legend of the 
sacrifice and I know pain. Omnix Mutants Raiders, many I've slain. Junkirk Town is my domain, and when I'm done, none of this will remain. There will be a reckoning! For generations, my family has served and protected our city by following traditional paths. My grandmother devoted herself to the Fox Spirit, who taught her the ancient way of healing. Whereas my mother has chosen the Path of the Blade, passing down time-honored skills through training and discipline. I knew each of them wanted me to follow her path, but I couldn't choose. Training quiets my mind and opens me to the Fox Spirit's guidance. And my bond with her lets me protect those who can't fight for themselves. They both made me feel whole. And they both felt like home. For generations, my family has served and protected our city by following traditional paths. Me? <laughs> I made my own. I was created to lead Omnix into war. But all I have ever wanted is a better life for my people. The fact that we exist is a miracle unto itself. We have studied the ways of peace and harmony. We have meditated on the universe and our place within it. We have tried to coexist with humanity, but humanity is not interested in sharing their world. How many more Omnix should perish to fuel mankind's dreams? No more. Our race is only a single generation. Finite and dying all too quickly. We can find our own place. And we must. Join me. And together, we will make a better future for all Omnix. A perfect world is a perfect prison. They taught us uniformity is strength, like links in a chain. That there was a formula for success that we all must follow. But <laughs> I've never been much of a follower. So I stepped away beyond their lifeless gardens into the wild, wide world to explore its infinite beauty. And I learned that our home needs help. Each step has led me closer to understanding how Passion and calculation, failure and resilience, science and life, all brought together, can lead us to something honest, vital, true. <laughs> Perfection is overrated. Our strength lies in our differences, in our compassion, 
our willingness to grow. I have brought nature and technology together to create a new possibility. And I will heal our world.